Hi, I'm Sasha Stewart on behalf of Muse and the Meditation Studio and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about uh, how to deal with uncertainty. I know a lot of you are going through a very difficult time and some of the tools I wanted to share with you is really to help increase your resilience and also to help, help you know to have a more positive mindset. So the first thing I wanted to talk about today is really what happens to our brain when we are feeling uncertain. So our brain does tend to have a very uh, negative bias and particularly when we are, you know, feeling a little unsteady and unbalanced and things are, you know, are, are feeling not the same as as usual and we don't really know what's going to happen in the future, we can really tend to go into the worst case scenario. We go into all those what ifs. And in many ways, that's the brain actually just trying to keep you safe. It's trying to prepare you to, you know, to do all the things that you need to do to stay, uh, to stay safe and okay. But what really happens then too is we can get very, very fixated on what can go wrong. And we really can ruminate on that and go through a lot of different loops and, you know, can really spiral down the rabbit hole. There's a great saying by uh, Mark Twain that I really love, which is some of the worst things in my life never happened. I know I've certainly got caught up in those things and those possible outcomes, um, you know, of what can happen in the future that never actually play out. So what we want to do really is start to begin to look at what's making us feel scared. So maybe a particular fear and to start to look at all the other possibilities and perspectives that may actually happen because we tend to just stick on that one track where actually there's a lot of different outcomes and or possible outcomes and what we can start to do then is when we can see that there's other perspectives we can start to challenge the fear because the fear is really a projection onto the future or of a future outcome that we're perceiving as known that is actually unknown and so what we really want to do is go, okay, well, that's not necessarily really true. And actually there's all these other possibilities that could even be really positive. What we tend to do, I like to compare it to something that happens in our day. So say we just have 10 things in a day that happen. Now, four or five of those things could go really well. Four of them could just kind of be a little bit average, but one, you know, might not go so great. But what's the one thing we dwell on? It's the one thing that doesn't go so well, right? And it's the same really uh, with the possibilities and the fears that we project into the future. So the more that you are allow, you know, allow yourself to, you know, to see all options, it helps you have a more positive mindset and helps you to feel more balanced and, and, and that there's still, you know, really good options in the world. So today I wanted to teach you a breath practice and our breath is one of the most powerful ways that we can either keep our body in a state of stress or we can actually calm it down. So when we're feeling stressed and overwhelmed, we tend to really tighten up through our body. We tend to breathe really shallowly. We don't, in fact, sometimes we don't even really breathe at all. And what I wanted to show you today is a technique to really just calm everything down. So all it is is simply breathing in for a count of four and exhaling for a count of six. And we actually breathe into our belly area. So and what I'll get you to do is place a hand on your chest and a hand on your belly. And you can close your eyes if you like, or you can just have them open, but maybe just directed to one point. I'm going to close my eyes. It always helps me feel a little bit calmer. And firstly, just feel your breath in and out of your belly. And then gradually begin to breathe in for a count of four. and out for a count of six. Breathe in for a count of four, and out for a count of six. If you notice the hand on your chest rising, just begin to bring the breath back down into your belly.
Breathing in for four. And out for six. If it's in your capacity, you can even extend the exhalation to a count of eight. When you breathe in this way, you signal to your mind, your body, your nervous system that in this moment you are okay. It helps you to feel more steady and at ease. It helps to bring in a sense of calm. And then you can just place your hands down. And in your own time, just gradually bring your breath back to a natural rhythm. Just notice any subtle shifts that that breath practice has brought you. And gradually begin to open your eyes. So what I love about this practice is that you actually wouldn't physically be able to breathe in this way if you were actually in any real danger or unsafe. So it's a great one to do at any time during your day just to calm everything down and bring back in a little bit more peace and ease. All right, everyone, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be here with you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.